Hey, good morning, everybody. It's dirty like the government here. So I'm actually on my job site, um, city of Chicago. I've got uh, four boilers, and they're superheated, so they're high volume steam. I'm gonna flip the camera around so you guys can check them out. One through four, um, the ones with the uh, orange burners are updated burners, and the Zico's is actually the burner company that I rep. So, very good boiler burners, um, very dependable, and in the years I've been doing it, have not let me down. So, I'm gonna go ahead and flip you guys around so you can take a look, see what I'm seeing, maybe. Well, I'll just do it this way. So here's uh, here's an old girl boiler. Yeah, it says asbestos on it. So this one right here is actually boiler two. It's got Zico burner. And here's boiler number one. Also a Zico burner. I have to find the blue book, which gives me all my information. This one here is boiler number three. And that old girl right there in the corner is boiler four. So, yeah. Anybody that hasn't been around a boiler, I'm going to walk you around it a little bit. This is everything that... Uh, all the switches, gas valve, feed water valve, your, your uh, Fisher valves, your Rosemont instrument. Um, let's see if I can do this one real quick. So this right here is, is a Rosemont instrument. Um, if you look at how it's plumbed, it's in my, my gas train. So this one right here, I have my hand cover and a sticker that for a little privacy. Um, whenever I touch these, any any piece of equipment, um, I always put a sticker on it saying who it was, what it's actually calibrated for. Um, if it's a switch, depending on the switch, I'll go, uh, you know, like high gas, low gas. I'll tell you what it trips at. It's just a switch, so a switch is a switch. It opens, it closes. Um, it just depends on where it opens and closes. I don't have a switch open that I can show you. Uh, but usually I'll document where it opens and then where the switch will actually reset. It's very critical to the safe operation of a boiler to have that. High gas, low gas. Um, if you will, think of a boiler like, like a carburetor. What do you need to make a car run? Fuel, air, and spark, right? So the other critical, critical switches are your minimum fire or low purge position switch and your light off switch. That's going to dictate how much fuel and air you're actually pumping into this gigantic box, <clears throat> your furnace. Um, and she's a big girl. These are not a boiler you really want to mess with. Um, they're dangerous. The only other one that's danger, more dangerous than this, is, is what they call fire tube. All four of these here are water tube, meaning you have flow tubes inside of the boiler passes, if you will, that are full of water and the flame is heating the exterior of the tube. A fire tube, if you will, is kind of like a water heater where it's the tubes are surrounded by water and going through the tubes is your flame. Now, if you get a tube, Morrison tube leak on a fire tube boiler, you, you won't even know it. You won't feel it. Um, you're gone. The building's gone. It'll blow up. It's not what you want. Uh, so, 
what I do for a living is, is very dangerous and it, there's a smaller percentage of these young kids that are coming into this industry because um, nobody really wants to work anymore. So stay posted folks. I got to pull uh, a high steam pressure switch and a high high steam pressure switch off here shortly as soon as I get 125 pounds of pressure off the steam drum. Uh, I'll show you guys how to calibrate that if I can manage to hold this cell phone and, and do a video. But uh, sorry for the shakiness, folks. It's uh, if your motion sickness. I apologize, but uh, it's early. It's not even seven yet, and I've only had one cup of coffee and, and a little bit of Dr. Pepper. So bear with me. Uh, hope everybody's doing good. Talk to you later.